saying, The Lord has been very angry with your fathers. Therefore say to them, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Return to me, says the Lord of hosts, and I will return to you, says the Lord of hosts. So the fathers totally disregarded God. They just, they just didn't listen to him. They didn't obey him. They went on and did their own thing. They had all their own justifications. And on they went. So here comes this appeal now to Zachariah's generation. What will you guys do? Did you notice that threefold business there? Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Lord. Uh, it's not because Zechariah is somehow, somehow hard of hearing. It's because God wants them to say, this is based on my promises. He wants them to understand that. If you will return to me, I, God, promise, I will return to you. I, God, promise. Your promises, we all know about your promises. What about my promises to you? Lay hold of my strength and I will take you where you need to go. That's the appeal. The appeal to the next generation. What will they do with it? Sometimes people begin to think that they can't do anything. That we should just sit like a lump on a log and do nothing. Let, let all these things happen and uh, God will just sort of zap into it. Being inactive and, and quiet in a time of emergency, that's what got the people in Zachariah's day into this problem. And God's trying to get them out. We need to learn from that lesson. We need to do something. We need to be actively being God's kingdom. Somebody said, if you're not part of the solution, you're part of the problem. And that maybe is true for some of us in our generation. The fathers became part of a lesson. They were inactive in a time of emergency. And God hates that in inactivity when there's an emergency, a spiritual emergency going on. And certainly in our day, I'd say we're in some, some spiritual emergencies. We need to find out what God wants us to do and then let him do it through us. And what might be part of our response? Well, we serve the Lord of armies. So if we serve the Lord of armies, then there's, there's the military might of heaven on our side. Let's keep that in mind. Thank you.